In this video, I'm going to show how I punch holes and also how to use that punched hole to make a bottle opener. So first thing is to take your stock. This is uh, 25 by 6 mil flat bar. I've got about 200 mils there. And I'm going to put a mark 12 millimeters from one end down. And then using a square, mark a line. And then find the middle of that line again. So about 12 and a half millimeters ish. Doesn't have to be perfect. Mark that on there. And then I'm going to take the slit and punch I'm going to use to make the hole. I'm just going to use that to mark off where I'm going to start punching the hole. Just make sure that's in there and pretty much in the middle. And I'm just behind the line here. Oh, and I dropped it. <coughs> there you go, just there. Now a type of punch I'm going to use to start the hole is called a slit in punch. And this one's about 10 mil wide at the end. And uh, it's it's about 250 mil long and it's made out of truck spring. So I give everything a good brush so I can see the mark that I made before. I'll take the slit in punch. I'm just going to give it a little tap. Use a hammer to set it up. Give it a bit more support. Give it a tap. Have a look. Make sure it's in the right place. And give it a good tap. So I spill it the footage up here. Turn it over and hit the other side. And now, basically, the slug's loose. And I'm just going to, as it cools down, I'm just going to shear it off there. As you'll see. So slitted hole if I can get it to focus there we go and yeah serious case of dropsy this is a bolster plate it's got a series of holes in varying sizes just backs the hole up so it doesn't rip through and this is a slitting drift so it's got a flat end one end and it's round to 10 mil diameter on the other end and I'm gonna find the 10 mil hole on the bolster plate line that all up nicely take my hammer and drive that through so she's nice and hot. Drive that through all the way. And that should pop clean through. And I should have a nice 10-ish millimetre round hole there. So you see that now. I'll show you. There we go. 10 millimetre round hole. Sorry about that glare. I don't know why it's doing that. And I'm going to get a better camera. So now I'm going to take a round punch. I'm going to use this like a drift. I'm going to use the bolster plate. And this round punch to drift it open now. So that the hole's big enough to fit over the end of my uh, bick. Drift that through, sped this footage up a bit as well. I got it stuck as well in a minute. And then you see the holes getting bigger. That's probably about 14 mil now. I'm probably going to take it up to about 16 mil in diameter. So give it a good brush as well. Make sure it's nice and tidy. There you can see the hole. It's probably about 16 mil there. And I'm going to take it right up to 20 mil now. And this is where I got the bloody thing stuck. I'm going to hit the end of the drift, uh, punch and I didn't want to do that. And there's the hole. And that fits right nicely on the end of the bick. There we go. Lovely. And I can turn that round and forge this out bigger. Uh, now, I missed taking the corners off because there was too much glare. But basically what you want to do is hammer all the corners in now around the bick. And then keep everything to section. So it... The bar is 6mm, so the whole edges want to be 6mm. So forge those down and get this nice and round to keep moving it to one side, then the other. Hopefully, it all goes well. Should have a nice looking, nice round hole. If I was if I was doing a lot of these, I'd drift this to size as well. Um, you see the hole there. Yep. 
Again, there's that glare. I sped this bit up as well. I spent that, probably spent a good five minutes doing this bit in between heats, I think. So you don't want to sit and watch that. It's pretty much straightforward. And just make sure you keep it all nice and straight and keep it to section. Take your time over this bit. It doesn't it doesn't hurt to do this bit well. Save your time in the long run. You don't need to run a file or on a grinder over it or something ridiculous like that. There you are. One round hole for a bottle opener. So now I'm going to take the the uh, drift, uh, the punch that I used earlier, and mark a little notch where I'm going to put the clip for the catch for the bottle opener. Just use my tongs to move it over there. So in the middle of the back of the hole, where the rest of the stock is, just give it a little tap there. Just you don't have to punch through it or anything. It's just knocking somewhere to see a bull nose drift, so that I can. Um, Pull it out nice and round, and make a nice a nice piece there to catch onto the the bottle lid. Again, make sure everything stays sectioned. You can see I've just marked him off there. It's nothing brilliant. It's just somewhere to locate this round uh, round-ended uh, punch, which is kind of like a drift as well. It's a nice, good, strong taps. So I'll drop it again. Yep, there we go. thing up. It's hot, you've got to use your hands. <laughs> it's amazing how often you try to pick things up. And there we are. I think I'll do a bit more now. And what you want to do is try and push a little lip out that hooks underneath the, the top of the bottle uh, lid. Just tidy it up after pulling that little clip out. Dress the Dress the end of the bottle opener again. Make sure it's all nice and tidy now. I'm going to have to mess around again later. And then this is where you push it into that iconic bottle opener shape. So sort of flatten the hole off ever so slightly. By uh, holding the round end on the anvil and hitting the opposite end of the bar. Brush it off again. Just keep brushing your work as much as possible. And uh, you can also just do some final dressing with the end of the anvil. Just um, just let, helps you move things around if you're a bit at square. Looks good. Looks nice, it's tidy. Looks like a bottle opener now. There we are. Now I'm going to go over to my fly press, and I've got a, a tool in there called a blacksmith's helper. And I'll do a video on the the guy who made this, and um, I'll show you how I made mine and stuff like that. And, and basically, it's got a set of fullers in there, and I'm using the fly press just to squeeze the neck in behind the the bottle opener part now obviously this bit isn't punching a hole but this is making a bottle opener and uh, bring that nice and down, I'm going to probably take it down so until it's about 10 mil at the neck and uh, I'll take it over to the anvil then and just straighten it up a bit because it got a bit out of shape and brought it back over and just tidied it up, did one side and then the other, I got a bit carried away and did one side a bit more than I like to just tried to dress up the other side there it is with its neck in it. And now what I need to do is bring out the the behind the stock. So I'm gonna have to cut it off first. And you see six mil all the way down there. Do is measure 80 millimeters from the start of the clip. I drew a line and showed you there. There we are. So that's the 80 millimeters from the start of the clip. Do a line. I want to cut it off with the angle grinder, and that's if by magic. It's in two pieces now. And there's that glare again. So I'd use the bick just to draw down the sides, and I've got a slightly bigger hammer than I normally use. Well, I use this big hammer for drawing out. So I draw this down, and this bit is completely up to however you want to do it. I mean, you can take a square and put some fancy patterns in it or whatever, but I want to keep it to section. So use the anvil there. Just to draw it up and tidy it up now, make sure it's nice and tidy. Wiggled about a bit and turned it over and it's to sort itself out. Draw it out, it's nice and hot as well. So doing forging, you want it hot to get the metal to move. And there we are, it's going nice and going nicely now. Keep it nice and keep it nice and to, um, to section, so it wants to be about 6mm thick. And I drew that down so one end sitting roughly at about. Uh, about 15 mil, and then the 
the back side is the, the neck is about 10 mil you see it there nice and close and you could leave it there you don't have to do any more really I and mean, that's a perfectly functional bottle opener and now I took the edges off on one side uh, sort of like brought one side down so it had like a chamfer along the edge like a long chamfer and that um, I like that that look it looks cool well I think it does anyway so I think after this heat I just took him over and I rasped the end ever so slightly I'll do a video on hot rasping um, I don't think anyone I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about it online um, it's a great process to use to tidy things up especially hot when the metal's hot cuts off loads of material it's a really good way of getting things you know either smoothing something off or getting a bit more shape into something or just straightening something up and it's um I will cover it so putting a bit more chamfer on there and after I put the chamfer on it was a little sharp so uh, just um I didn't video it because I didn't think it was important at the minute so straighten everything up getting it looking nice and tidy and uh thought the end was looking a bit off shape so I um, to straighten it up a bit I think it did more harm than good really but got, got a bit tight then I'll have to take it over the bick and just open it up a bit again like so just gently tapping low heat just get in shape brush everything I think it's really important to make sure that constantly brushing I can't emphasize that enough it gives a unique a unique blacksmithing look and uh, it, that's a quality that you only get from wire brushing hot metal and there she is and you see the bit of the chamfer on there and uh, how it looks when it's been hot brushed there you are. sorry about the quality of the camera I'm working on the camera so trying to drop it again to drop everything and now this part I've got some letter stamps and I'm going to stamp my uh, company name into the back of the bottle opener which is IAS, IA Studios. Yeah, line that up there, make sure I'm around the right way. I've done it a few times now where I've put it in around the wrong way. Big nice big crack, there we go, that's in. Good brushing again I think. brushing and there we go lovely and then the other side and now what I'm going to do is go a bit of shape into this bottle opener now all the flat bits are done so what I'm going to do is use slightly bigger hollow bits place the hollow bits on the anvil and then the head of the bottle opener on the anvil and then tap just behind the neck and use the bit to round the end off and then all while straightening up this just helps picking it up off a flat surface I just think it's uh, and it makes it a bit more tactile in the hand there we go lovely so that's nice and flat and then whilst it's uh, a bit of a hot brush in and then whilst it's hot get some uh, dark furniture wax on it which is like a bees wax so just get a cloth and give that a good rub on there get it nice and and that's it there's a bottle opener thanks for watching see you next time